A Trump administration rule change could make your meat less safe. In an NBC News exclusive, Morgan Radford sat down with two federal food inspectors to talk about the changes. Toenails, hair, sexual organs, bladders. Um, All the above. That's what's potentially in your pork, according to some of America's federal inspectors. Speaking out for the first time in an NBC exclusive. USDA inspectors Jill Maurer and Anthony Vallone are sounding the alarm. Do you feed your children or your families this pork? I, I, I don't eat that. from this plant. You don't eat from the same plant where you work? Correct. No. They say the meat you eat may soon be less safe than you think, thanks to a change in rules for pork inspection, now set to roll out nationwide under the Trump administration. The consumers being duped that believe that it actually is getting federally inspected when there's no one there to even watch or do anything about anything. Both inspectors work at a pork plant in the Midwest, one of the first to adopt the pilot program. They say the changes have been dramatic. In traditional plants, as many as seven federal inspectors check the animals for defects, like contaminants or signs of disease. Under the new system, that number goes down to two or three more experienced federal inspectors. But now, the plant's own employees will be checking and sorting, with no federal training required, with inspectors verifying their work. There's not enough time to react to situations that arise. You got 2.6 seconds per carcass. To inspect the yeah. entire hog. Yes, you can't really see very much in that time. So there's a lot of contamination heading out the door. They say that's because there's no federal cap on line speeds, meaning no set limit on how fast the meat can go by. As long as they feel like they can get away with it, they will. The USDA declined to do an on-camera interview for this story but said via email that inspectors have the authority to slow and stop the line to ensure food safety and inspection are achieved, adding that inspectors will conduct 100 percent carcass by carcass inspection. While these federal inspectors say that's true, in practice, they say the potential for unsafe food to pass inspection will be much higher, a concern six current and former federal inspectors have shared through sworn affidavits to federal regulators and via emails to NBC News. When you open your package of meat, what you're going to get for a pathogen is going to be a mystery. What are pathogens? Those are the things that make you sick like E. coli and salmonella. And under this pilot program, those things could potentially enter into our food. Correct. The pilot program is currently in five plants across the country, with plans to expand to 35 plants starting next year. Combined, those 40 plants process more than 90 percent of America's pork. CDC records show there have been no food illness outbreaks linked to the pilot plants since the first one started in 2000. But food safety advocates argue the risk will be much greater once it expands. Sorters, inspectors, whatever you want to call them for the companies, are doing the work that public servant inspectors used to do. It's all being done at a much higher rate. You're bound to make mistakes. And if you make mistakes, it's the public that is harmed. So as Americans head to the kitchen, these federal inspectors say they should also be looking to Washington. When will the line speed stop? Mostly contaminated product enters commerce. Um, when will it stop? Until Actually, it'll stop when someone dies. NBC News contacted all five plants and the North American Meat Institute, which said inspectors are still required to inspect every animal and that they always have the authority to affect an establishment's line speed. One of the five plants also responded, saying in part, Smithfield Foods' success as a global food company depends on us upholding the highest levels of food safety and quality every single day. NBC News asked to interview inspectors at all five pilot plants, but the USDA declined to make them available for an interview. The Trump administration is now looking to make these same changes with beef processing. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.